Tom is about to have a new adventure in one of the beautiful scenes inside CS. Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Ali and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make Tom enjoy his adventure and one of the amazing backgrounds that we have inside CS's library. And so before we dive deeper into this, I'd like to give a shout out to Taimur who inspired me by his video and I thought I'd make a quick tutorial and show you how you can easily do that. I am Tom, an adventurous soul eager to explore the world. With Create Studio's magical animations, my journey becomes a vibrant tapestry of color and wonder. From bustling cities to serene landscapes, every moment is enriched by the cool animations. As I travel, I find inspiration in the stories unfolding before my eyes. With each adventure, I discover new joys, all thanks to Create Studio's innovative animations. Click the link in the description to watch my tutorial. Wait, are you still there? Did you know that I can turn and walk back into the scene? Watch me do this and have fun. All you gotta do is to have Tom walk from one position to another and then have him walk back if you will and use the camera animation to create that dynamic effect and give you the illusion that there is so mo much movement inside the background, but it isn't really. So let's go ahead and start creating this together. I'm gonna start from scratch and then I'll go into my backgrounds right there and on the search bar, I'll type in road and then I'm going to find the image that I wanna work with. Let's just go into the categories and choose 3D so we can just get easier results. And then from there, we can find the image that we are looking for. And it looks like it's gonna be this image that we are going to use. Now, the second thing we wanna do is we want to grab Tom from the character creators. So I'm gonna drag and drop him onto the canvas right there. And then I'm going to change his um, outfit, right? I'm gonna scroll down. I have a few, so I'm gonna use one of my own um, outfits and then uh, we could just uh, you know make changes and customize to take off his uh, glasses and choose none right there and that's it now in order for this to make this smooth and nice and easy you got to give it its time because tom is going to be walking a long distance from very far out in the in the scene and he's going to get closer to the camera so after trying this a few times and I found out that you need at least, you know, 30 seconds and above. So we're going to extend our, extend our background in the uh, timeline and um, let's go about 35 seconds. And then for Tom, we're going to choose walking as his first action. So I'm going to click on the uh, idol to open up my action list. And then we're going to choose walking for him. Next up, we're going to need to eliminate or disable the start and an ending animation. How do we do this? It's very simple. Where it says walking on the character's track in the timeline, we right click that. I'm oh, sorry, we, we click that. And then we're going to see a uh, small panel right there that allows us to disable start and disable end. It's pretty simple, right? And then once you do that, all you all you got to do is simply select Tom one more time, click on the rotate button that shows above the character, and then we're going to rotate him facing the camera like that, because like I said, he's going to work, you know, from farther out in the scene, and he's going to get closer to the scene. Once you get that done, all you got to do is simply click on the rotate icon or the button again to exit the uh, rotation mode and then from there you can simply resize tom, tom make him really small maybe you want to zoom in onto your canvas so we can make him smaller like this to fit um, into the scene as he's going to be walk, walking a long distance from far out uh, let's just go back and see what it looks like i think he's quite fine right there and then we can start our animation and so the next thing we want to do is simply extend the action we can hover over the little vertical the little uh, square that shows towards the end of the character track extend the action all the way until the end just like that 
and then we're going to start using some keyframes. So at the very beginning, all we want to do is we're going to select uh, the uh, character. Well, he's already selected, so we're going to click on Add Animation, and then we're going to choose Position, uh, Scale, and then we're going to go for Easing, and then I'll choose Linear for both In and Out. Next up, we want to drag the second keyframe all the way to the end of the track, just like this. And then keep make sure it is selected just like that and then we're going to um, scale up tom like this get him really close to the scene to somewhere like that he looks just fine right now and if i go back from the very beginning then press play and let's have a look and see what that looks like it looks pretty cool nice and easy and even smooth now, the next thing I want to do is I want to apply some camera animation. So what we're going to do is we'll go into the Effects and Components tab. We then click on the Components tab right there, and we're going to drag and drop the camera animation onto our scene. Then in order to start adding a camera animation, we need to um, position or hover our mouse at the very top of the timeline on the camera track you can see that there's a, a camera icon on the left side right there and that shows you that this is the camera track we can simply double click there to add a camera animation and then uh, i'm gonna have my playhead before the camera animation bar then i'm going to have my playhead at the very beginning so that i make sure that we're going to start from where tom is going to start walking and then i'm going to resize the camera frame all the way like this i'm actually going to need to zoom in so i can have a really close shot of tom just like this something like this is quite fine and then what we're going to do next is we need to have move our playhead forward in time uh, we're going to go into full width and then i'm going to move my playhead forward in time all the way until the end until until tom finishes walking then i'm going to resize my camera frame i don't want to display the whole body and, and the entire scene i'm just going to keep it you know smaller so we could just resize it size it to something like this looks just fine i think and then from there all we want to do is uh, simply right click the camera animation bar to change the easing and i'm not sure if you know this but this is one of the cool things that we have in the camera animation that we can change the easing by right clicking the animation bar and uh, you have a couple of options you can either delete the animation or simply click easing to get into the easing effects and for this one to keep it smooth we're going to choose linear for both in and out now once we're done we're simply going to drag the camera animation bar have it start right from the very beginning and then we're going to expand it so we hover over the little vertical line that shows at the end of the camera animation bar and then we with our mouse hold lift click and drag it all the way to the second keyframe of your character just like that now let's go back from the beginning have a look press play and there you have it you can see this is so much easy and you could do it in just a few minutes and uh, you know once this is done if you want to have tom go back again then you're just going to follow the same exact instructions by rotating tom and then having walk having him walk you know farther out in the scene and then you want to make sure that you use scale and position animation bearing in mind the perspective of tom as he's getting farther out in the scene use the camera animation to uh zoom um, out uh, zoom in on tom as he's walking and that would be it so i hope you found this helpful thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one Hello.